Hello everyone, uh, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, what are the difference between loosely coupling and tight coupling in Java with examples. So this is very important uh, concept in real time project or interview and also technical entry point of view also. So you may uh, face this type of entry question. So we have mid level uh, developers are above four years of experience candidates okay first uh, to understand what is uh, loose coupling and uh, tight coupling and also in this video i'm going to share uh, explore advantage of loose coupling okay so loose coupling means reducing dependencies of a class that use different class directory tight coupling means classes and objects are dependent on on each other okay so in general tight coupling is usually not good because it reduces flexibility and reusability of code and it makes changes much more difficult and not easy to test first let us discuss about uh, tight coupling okay tight coupled object is an object that needs to know quite a bit about other objects and are usually highly dependent on each other interface Suppose if you are changing one object in a tightly coupled application, so often request changes to a number of other objects. In a small application, we can easily identify the changes and there is less chance to miss anything. But in large application, these interdependencies are not always known by every programmer and there is a chance of overlooking changes. Okay. So you can, you can see the um, code for the tight coupling. Here I have given class journey. Okay, in the class journey, I am mentioning one. I am creating the object for class by using new operator, and I am using one method start journey. Okay, so and also use one another method travel method start journey and travel method. In the car class, I am using travel method. Okay. So in this code, journey class is dependent on car class to provide service to the end user. That means main class to call this journey class. So here main class is the, um, so we have to call the, um, this method from journey class. Okay. So here journey class is tightly coupled with the car class it means if any changes in the car class requires a uh, journey class to change for example if a car class having travel method to uh, change to journey method then you have to change the start journey method we'll call journey method instead of calling travel method see uh, this code then you can understand here uh, there is a journey class is there and start journey and journey method. Two methods are there in the journey. In the car class, uh, using journey method. Okay. So this is the uh, best example for tight coupling. Then what about loose coupling? Loose coupling is a design goal that seeks to reduce the interdependencies between components of system with the goal of reducing the risk that changes in one component will require changes in any other component. So loose coupling is much more generic concept intended to increase the flexibility of system. So make it more maintainable and makes the entire framework more stable. So see the below code, uh, then you can understand here. Uh, I am creating one interface, uh, interface name is vehicle. In that interface, I just used one method that is start start method and uh, i have taken number of classes here to implement the interface here i have taken car class bike class and journey class so i am implementing the vehicle here so in this example journey class and car class and bike class are loosely coupled it means vehicle is not interface Sorry, vehicle is an interface and we can inject 
any of the implemented class at runtime and we can provide services to the end user. So this is the best example for loose coupling. So the examples for loose coupling are interfaces, spring IOC, that means dependency injection, uh, it can reduce the tight coupling. Now let us look at the uh, few of the advantages of loose coupling. So it improves the testability, it helps you follow the uh, principles of program to interface not implementation and it is highly changeable. One module does not break other models in unpredictable ways. So these are the advantages of loose coupling. So I hope you enjoy my videos. So thank you for watching.